Welcome, Jeremy. Today we're going to be doing an aura cleansing, rebalancing your energy. We're going to be making sure all of your energy points or your chi doors, as they say in Chinese medicine, are open. Um, and just getting rid of any negative feelings, anything that might be trapped or stuck inside of your body, and making sure we get it out. Does that sound good? Sounds okay. great. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting my hands to sense the current energy of your body. I'm feeling for anything that sticks out, any points that feel exceptionally hot or cold or the circulation might not be as good. I'm sensing a little bit of a stuck point in your upper back. Do you have any pains in your upper back or do you sit a lot during the day? Yeah, I do sit a lot. Alright, I'll pay close attention to that. Just feeling temperature, it's a little bit warm on the sides, bottom sides. So I'm just going to check your neck here and your head, just sort of feeling the energy pulse. Okay, good. First thing I'm going to do is some cleansing fire. So I'm going to be running a candle along your back just to try and clear out some of that bad air that might stop me from plucking at the aura. There won't be any fire uh, touching you. Smoke can be a very healing substance. Take a deep breath in and push everything out. I'm just going to run my hand over the flame, use the heat to run up the back muscles. You know if it's too hot. Feel free to fall asleep. You may also feel some emotions come out that you didn't really expect that can happen with an energy cleansing. Next, I'm just gonna use this stone. What it's doing is hitting the energy fields, and the energy fields are making it move, so that's gonna let me know places I need to address. I'm definitely feeling that energy in this lower back here that I noticed before. It's not as strong on the other side. A little bit in your upper middle back. this left shoulder. The head looks good. Okay. So 
So what's showing me is that you're definitely holding some more negative energy in the bottom half of your body and a little bit in the top half of your body and the middle looks okay. Have you been feeling um, tired at all lately or a little bit restless? Uh, yeah, pretty restless. Restless more than tired, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this Peppermint essential oil. Just put a little bit on your neck and your lower back so we can prep those areas for picking. A lot of people actually don't realize they think essential oils mean that they're essential to us and you know you could argue they're very important but it actually comes from the word essence um, because this is essence of peppermint and it is es essence oil, essential oil. Peppermint is a very cooling sensation. Just a little bit on the bottom here. I'm just gonna walk that in. You might feel a little bit of like tingling in your nostrils. That's totally normal. That's just like having a strong cup of peppermint tea or brushing your teeth, you get that same sort of cooling, tingling sensation. Next I'm gonna go ahead and place a couple of stones on your back before we start actually clear that energy out. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of different ones. We'll use some jade on your upper back, some amethyst as well on your lower back. I see an onyx stone as well. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to start doing some energy plucking now. If anything starts feeling uncomfortable, you know, emotionally or physically, please let me know. Um, some points I will be touching you depending on the, how deep the energy is and close, close it is actually to your body. And sometimes I'm going to be working a little bit off your back with the energy that's a few inches away. So I'm just letting you know what's going to happen. So just stop me if anything doesn't feel good or if anything comes up for you, okay? I'm just really trying to pick out that energy the shoulder that was bothering you. just going to use 
sharp edge here to clear out some of this because it's, it's quite stuck. What this does is it literally cuts through the energy. a lot clearer now. I'm not getting that same heat signature I was before. Let me just check. Yeah, much better. Okay, I'm going to move back down to your lower back. pain there? No. Okay. Sometimes this can be quite intense. little bit of movement. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take the black onyx stone. I'm just going to hold it into you for a second. Breathe in and push out all the way. Send it your back. We have a lot of energy that runs up and down our spine because we have a lot of nerve endings there. And it can also get tra trapped in between the spinal cord and the bones. Part of tension in the body is trapped energy. So you might have a mixture of that muscle tension from sitting badly or standing for long periods of time, but part of it is also the emotional energy that's trapped in your spine. that on us again just press on a couple of pressure points one right underneath your shoulder blade take a breath in one more time okay. and do one down here as well so right here take a deep breath in and push out
just stimulating the top layer of the skin here with some gentle scratching. The aura actually is not right on top of the skin, it's a little bit further away, but it is the point that you interact with the most, it's the top of the dermis. So you want to make sure that there's a good connection there and that the skin and the nerves are open to receiving. your back looks good. I'm just going to give a little bit of attention to your scalp now, okay? Finding a point here, I'm just gonna press this gently into your head. Let me know if it's too much. searching for any more energy that we need to clear out. A little bit on the top here. Everything else looks okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and close up the chi drawers by letting my hands warm your body. Just basically sealing in everything we've done today. today for a hand exam and a palm reading, is that correct? That is correct. Great, I'm just going to put some paper down so we can get the exam started. And go ahead and lay your hands right here. Have you ever had a hand exam and palm reading done before? I have not. Is there anything that you are curious about as far as, you know, do you have any aches and pains, any problems with your hands? Um, not really, no. They look pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and cleanse them very quickly. I'm 
flip it over, please? The other side. And you flip that one over for me, please. And just, like, just go ahead and try them off for you. Alright, I'm just going to start out by looking at your hands. And go ahead and leave them palm facing up for now. I'm just checking to see if you have any bumps or red spots. A couple of calluses there, but that's really normal for someone your age. Um, do you work with your hands at all? Not really. Use just the computer. Use the computer a lot, yeah. So you could have some, some swelling in your joints. I'm just going to feel all your joints. I do actually have some issues with my thumb. Your thumb? This one right yeah. here? Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll check that out in a little bit, but I'll ask you for more questions in a little bit. No other swelling. Any of this hurt, tender, painful at all? No. Okay, how about in your hand here? Is that painful at all? No. Can you pain when I press the palms of your hand here? No. And nothing down here in this muscle? No. Okay, try the other side. Again, just pressing on all the joints. Keep over there, no pain. You no pain there in that muscle. Okay. Let's take a look at this thumb here. What, what about it has been bothering you? Uh, it's just sore. It's sore. Have you been doing anything, you know, maybe video games or working in the yard, something special? No, not really. Okay. Can you go ahead and put your hands up like this for me? And hold your thumb where it is. Don't let me push it. Okay, good. Now out like this. and Fingers out really nice and wide. Don't let me push them in. And now really close together, and don't let me pull them out. Excellent. Can you uh, flip your flip your hands down like this? Don't let me pull you. And then your wrists up like this. And don't let me pull you. Excellent. So your strength's really good there. I'm gonna go ahead and put your hands back down. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and test some sensation in your hands just to make sure that you can feel everything. So I've just got this little Q-tip here, and one end feels quite sharp and the other one's more dull. You feel the difference there? Can you close your eyes? I'm just gonna poke you in a couple places on your hands and tell me if you feel it sharp or dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. And flip your hands over for me, please. Thank you. Do. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Do. Sharp. Sharp. Do. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Good. And I noticed that on that thumb there, you had perfectly good sensation, so. I think you probably just tweaked it. Um, try not to crack it too much if you can, because that could irritate it if it's already swollen, and maybe put some ice on there, but looks okay for the meantime. Um, and I'm just going to just take a look at your fingernails really quickly. Checking capillary refill. And they do refill within two seconds. So that means your circulation is really good and getting enough blood to your hands at least. And I'm just gonna clean off the nail surface because the nails are, uh, I just want to make sure there's nothing in there. Okay. So before we do the, do you have any questions on the hand exam? Okay, before we do the palm reading, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a hand massage to just relax your hands. Sometimes if we're really tense, the reading can be a little bit off. It's sort of like if your heart rate's high and you get your blood pressure red, 
the doctor might think that there's something wrong um, when really you're just nervous. So it's kind of the same thing. So just go ahead and relax and close your eyes if you want. Just gonna relax your hand, make sure that they're open to the reading. If anything hurts or doesn't feel good, just let me know. Same thing this side, relax your hand. go dead for me. I'm just going to quickly rub this stone over your hand. It's nice and cooling. Uh, it's a dark obsidian stone. It's going to actually remove some of that bad energy before we start doing a reading. Over for me. Go ahead and grip that really tight for me. Release. In this hand. Release. And go ahead and shake your hands out for me. And then lay them flat, palms up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the reading. It's going to just involve me looking at your hands and maybe getting a closer look or asking you to move your hands. Let me move your hands for you and I'll, I'll let you know if I need anything else, but it'll just help me get a look at the actual lines in your hands. Down. Okay, something like this on the side. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot going on with their hands. 
Um, it's definitely telling me that even though you don't work with your hands in a job like a physical job, um, that your hands are extremely important to, to what you do and to your career and to your livelihood. Um, your hands have a lot of stress in them. They hold a lot of stress and a lot of tension in a way that you would see if someone was doing a lot of weightlifting or something like that. Um, but, you know, with, with Jim's clothes right now, I, I think it's more of an emotional tension that I'm seeing in your hands. Um, I'm seeing a very long and intact lifeline. There doesn't seem to be a lot of disruptions in it, so one small one at the end. Um, but it seems like, and it's the same on both hands, so that's great. It seems like you're not going to have any major uh, disruptions to that lifeline. Um, now, palm reading isn't a science. Obviously, it can't tell you you're going to live 80 years, you're going to live 90 years. It's more just about the journey of seeing it's not interrupted. You're not seeing a major event throwing you off course. Um, you're kind of on the path that you're going to be on for your life. Um, on this side, on the other side, we have your family lines. Um, and it looks like you are strong with your family, but your family isn't always, you know, the person you're related to. Um, I'm kind of seeing that they're not touching as if they're blood family, but that you have a lot of non-blood family, so friends or people you've chosen to be in your life. Do you feel like you know, make your own friends in life or make your own family in life? Yeah, I do feel like that is true. Did you come in for a reading today just because you're more curious? You've never had the experience before? Uh, yeah, I was just curious. Yeah. Wanted to find out a little bit more. It's interesting because I'm seeing that in your hands as well, um, that you're an extremely curious person. Um, palm reading is, again, like I said, it's, it's not a science, it's an art, and I think you can interpret things how you want, but you know, a lot of these lines here are showing a lot of consistency. They're unbroken lines. They're an extremely loyal person. Um, and that loyalty is paid back to you. You have a lot of long-term relationships. Um, you can see that, you know, things in your life have, even though you've had experiences and things have changed, that the core love and, and friendship in your life has really stayed the, stayed the same. And um, that's, that's wonderful. So it's been great looking at your hands. Um, as far as the future, um, I don't, you know, other than saying that it looks like your future is somewhat stable, um, I don't believe that you can really read, you know, you're going to have three kids in the house in, you know, this city from your hands. It's more just about who you are as a person. So I, I read stability in your hands. Um, I read friendship in your hands and, and that stress and tension, of course. So make sure you are taking time to relax and time for yourself. It could be a very stressful time right now. And um, keep an eye on that thumb. But um, do you have any other questions? No, I think that's it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in and thank sharing you. with me, and uh, I will hopefully see you again soon. Thank you. Very excited to be doing a full body energy cleansing today. Um, before we get started, do you have any initial questions for me? Are you ready to go? I think I'm ready. Amazing. So what I'm going to be doing is just sensing the energy you currently have and then clearing out some negative energy and balancing out uh, any any spikes in your aura or anything like that. So when you leave here, you should be very balanced. You should be very calm. Sounds okay. great. And I'll explain a little bit what I'm doing as we go, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. Great. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a baseline sense of reading your energy, and I'm gonna do that by running my hands along your body, okay? So okay. feel free to close your eyes, relax, and, sure. and I'll just get going. So I'm just keeping a little bit of a distance here, trying to feel any temperature changes any energy changes, any pulsations. Just take your hand out of your pocket for me. I'm just gonna do this, and you can put them back. Okay, thank you. 
kadar. Can I have you turn around for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Perfect. Now that I've done a general scan with some distance, I'm just going to go ahead and run my hands actually along your skin and um, get a little bit of a closer feel, okay? And then we'll be able to start the cleansing. What this allows me to do is just see what is happening when I stimulate the nerves and where that energy is flying to. Turn around for me. Energy cleansing has played a role in a lot of different cultures. The way I think about it is that you know, energy in nature can never be created or destroyed. It always just has to move. And when it gets trapped in certain parts of our body, we can't be as open mentally or physically as we want to be. So that's why it's important to keep energy flowing and moving throughout our bodies. a good sense of where there's some blockages and where there's some energy that is trying to be released and trying to circulate better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use a couple of different tools to help make that happen. Um, I use things that stimulate sound waves, um, which is energy that can get trapped through that, and then also uh, color as well, the visual waves as well. So I want to just move around all this energy and even you out so that your aura will be a consistent color and you will have the open chakra points that you need to keep your body moving. Perfect. So I'm going to start out with a white stone and a black stone, and that's going to um, help balance some of those color energy inconsistencies out, okay? Perfect. sense some imbalance in your digestive area um, so I don't know if you've been having any stomach aches lately but we'll try and clear that out for you
it off for me, please? Now I've stimulated some of the light waves, I'm going to go ahead and stimulate some of the sound waves. Turn back around. So I'm just going to have you stay seated for the next portion. I'm going to really focus on your uh, your energy in your shoulders, your neck, and your head. Okay. Great. Okay. Excellent. So I really want to pay attention 
So some of the energy I was feeling coming out of the back of your neck and the shoulders here. And I've just got a crystal here. I'm gonna just pinpoint a couple places and try, try to absorb that a little. Use some jade. Sort of soothe those spots that we just opened up with the crystal. And clearing away any remaining blockages here. I'm do some smoke here.
I'm starting to feel some more openness. Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to put a little bit of this ionized water and then just rub it into your face. your hands out for me. Just rub your hands together. Sort of just wash them down your arms. Jeremy. So that's the end of your energy balancing. Hopefully you feel much calmer. I feel great. Amazing. I'm going to suggest that you drink a lot of water in the next couple of hours. Just really help clear out anything that was remaining in your system and get a little bit of build up discomfort after a cleansing because there's just so much happening inside. Um, but otherwise, I, I'm sensing that you're a lot more open now and I'm glad you came in today. Thank you very much. Thank you. And so today we're going to be doing a three card tarot reading, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Great. So I'm just going to go ahead before we dive into the cards. I'm going to raise your energy, move anything that's blocked or stuck so we can really have an open, fluid reading and that the cards can access uh, the, your aura and your energy that you're putting out. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do a past, present, future reading. Okay. So we'll get a sense of what's going on in your life. Sounds great. Okay. First, I'm just going to start by clearing some of the other energy in the room. I'm going to do that using smoke. Just go ahead and stay there. Close your eyes and lay your hands out on the table. You can actually just put them on either side of the cards. Perfect, just like that. Do you feel a little bit of heat? That's just clearing some of that outside energy away, very surface. If you feel any particular sensations, let me know what they are. Might be meaning that I'm hitting the blockage, but otherwise just relax. Flip your hands over for me. I'm going to go ahead and blow the candle out now. Keep your eyes closed. Slowly open your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. So 
I did sense a little bit of blockage. Uh, this could be something just stress from the work week. It could be something more deeper emotional. It could be a little bit of hesitation towards the reading today, a little nervousness. So I'm going to go ahead and try and break that out. Um, I'm going to use some of the slate stone here. And uh, again, just close your eyes and let me know if anything bothers you. Put your hands out on the table again for me. Thank you. crystal as well. Try and absorb some of that energy. I'm sensing a lot in a lot of blockages in your neck and your arms. So just want to clear out those points. Okay, I just want to do one more thing. I'm just going to take some dry herbs and just sort of rub them around your body um, in an attempt to just sort of clear up anything that might be left over, okay? And then we'll start the reading. Come around to your face. Flip your palms up for me. How are you feeling? Really good. Okay, excellent. Do you feel open to the reading? I do, yeah. Great. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start the reading. I do this by shuffling the cards, and then you'll go ahead and pick three of them for me, okay? Okay. 
cut that now for me. Okay. This is going to be your pass card. Okay, cut that in half for me. That's your present card. Got the Two of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Princess of Swords. Once you have a look, I'm going to turn them around so I can read them. Okay? Okay, so your pass card is the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords can either be interpreted in a positive or negative way. That's why you have sort of the sun and the dark. Because I did pull away so much negative energy from you, I am inclined to think that you're more on the low side of this card. Uh, and what that means is you're dealing with some indecisiveness, some anxiety about a decision, uh, choosing a path, um, versus on the, the, uh, the other side of this would be uh, very decisive, knowing what you need and want and making a lot of choices. Um, I'm not sure you know if either of those resonate with you, but I'm inclined to think that You've had some difficulty in the past sort of deciding what your next step is, uh, um, feeling like your direction is a little uncertain, um, but you do have the tools to make those choices because it is a two-sided coin, you know, the ability to make decisions and then the anxiety of making those same decisions. Um, that would be your past card. Uh, so my intuition is telling me that you're more on the negative, deeper side of that card. Um, let's go ahead and look forward to your present card. That's the Queen of Cups. Um, so the Queen of Cups is an emotional card. It can either mean that you're incredibly open, emotionally open, uh, that you're emotionally intelligent, that you're making choices based on your heart and you're understanding what your heart wants and your mind and your heart are in sync, okay? On the other side, you're feeling very lowly emotional. You're not able to connect. You're a little bit lower depressed maybe you're not able to commit to those emotional decisions and relationships in the same way and you tend to indulge yourself versus to take yourself out of your situation and sort of think of it uh, think of others and be emotionally open to to others because this is your present card what this is saying to me is that you're in the middle of those two situations right now you're coming past this sort of darker heavier motion mode where you are now moving from being a little bit more emotionally shut down to being more emotionally open. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here in this card. And then lastly here we have the Princess of Swords. Princess of Swords is a very uh, analytical card. So this is really about strength in the mind um, and using the mind to drive, uh, to drive not only decisions but to drive actions. Um, so that makes a lot of sense for me because you, you have a whole journey here, if you've noticed. You have this past where you were very closed off um, or you weren't really able to make choices where you weren't sure of your next steps. Then you have your present where you, you know, you wanted to have that emotional openness but you couldn't for a while and you're moving into that daylight, you're moving into opening up. And by doing so, emotionally, mentally opening up, you're going to be able to make those analytical choices and take those actions to get to wherever you want to be. Awesome. So that would be my reading for you today.
I think clearing your energy at the beginning of the session, you know, was able to let us truly see what the cards had in store for you. Um, but I would suggest you come back for another reading in about two, three weeks to see how everything's progressed because the cards may read what sort of general things are happening for you, but it still is up to you to sort of live the cards and make sure that you're not taking for granted this knowledge and insight you have into your own mind. Definitely. Okay. Do you have any other questions? No, I think that's it. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you so much.